In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to understand the importance of a dialogue manager in conversational AI applications. So the first thing you might be asking is, what is a dialogue manager and why do I even need one of these things? So to understand what a dialogue manager is, you need to first understand that in order to be in control of a conversation or a conversational application, you must be able to route or orchestrate a dialogue. I think of this as, I need to be able to understand what you said in this conversational application and send you to the right place at the right time. We'll start with kind of discussing this as, what are the different stages of conversation that you might need in order to be able to build a conversational application? So let's start with the very first stage of a conversation or think of it, how would I want to be able to manage my conversation in a way where I stay in control of it? So think of it that when you're building a conversational application, in the very first stage that we like to look at inside of Copilot Studio, for example, is we like to think about authored topics, things that are experiences that you want to author, you want to be in full control of them. A lot of times this would be things like being able to look up the status of an order or being able to apply for uh, a loan or something like this. These are typically experiences that the author of a conversational application wants to be in full control of and wants to author those specifically for their application. And usually one of the core functions of a conversational application that interfaces with an API. So we will basically this is the concept of a authored topic. And so we have a couple of tools inside of Copilot Studio to do that. We have a unified authoring canvas. We have a Copilot within Copilot Studio that helps author topics and things of that nature. Then let's move down to like a stage two, which is, well, if I don't have an authored topic, what, are, what about things that I need to script a response to? These are typically like FAQ, single turn responses. These type of situations are... Um, a lot of people will ask, well, why would I want that when I can do generative AI? If you need to be able to control the response and it must be exactly what you need it to say, such as a legal response uh, to something, or maybe you have a PR thing that you want to manage, or let's take an example of a company like Coca-Cola uh, is a good example, who if I ask their conversational agent, What's the best drink in the world? I seriously doubt that the marketing department over at Coca-Cola is going to say, oh, yes, we can just generate a response to that. They're going to want to be in full control and say exactly what they want to say for that particular scenario. So that's an example of these FAQ or scripted responses. Then we move down to generated responses. This is a place where I'm willing to release a control around the way that you might say something by doing generative AI. And I might need to be able to say for certain scenarios, maybe like for benefits enrollment, I want to hand you to an implementation of a generative AI uh, instance versus if you're trying to do something else like, um, you know, look up a travel policy or something, I might want to send you to a different implementation or a different set of knowledge articles that I want to generate a response over. So this is where you're talking about generative uh, responses and generated responses. Just be aware that this can be many different models. It doesn't, it could be um, things such as generative answers. Um, it could be generative actions or plug-in actions. It could be a Llama model. It could be Azure OpenAI. Being able to have a dialogue manager will allow you to route this to the correct gener generative response implementation that you actually want to use. And then this last part, which we I call stage four here, is escalation. Maybe I want to escalate to a live human. For me to be able to do that, I have to have a dialogue manager that can look at the conversation state. It can understand that you're stuck in a loop and that you're not able 
to get the answer you're looking for or be able to understand when you say i want to talk to a human that that isn't something i want to generate a response to so this is the idea behind a dialogue manager and why it's important it is the key for keeping you in control of the conversation and the conversation state and being able to orchestrate the conversation uh, while keeping you in full control. So now that we understand what a dialogue manager is and why it's important, we need to move on to, well, how does this work in Microsoft? And the answer is that is what Copilot Studio is. Copilot Studio is the dialogue manager for Microsoft conversational applications. And to kind of understand Microsoft Copilot Studio a little further, you should think of it that Microsoft Copilot Studio is the single conversational authoring studio that Microsoft has brought to market. Um, this is the combination of all these different uh, conversational building tools all being brought together into a single unified uh, Copilot Studio and that lets you be able to build your own Copilot. You can extend uh, other Microsoft Copilot experiences using Copilot Studio. It's also that it comes included. So if you're trying to extend something like the M365 Copilot, it's going to be included to be able to allow you to extend that. It's not like a separate thing you have to go buy unless you're trying to build your own Copilots. And I have a video that explains the difference between Power Virtual Agents and uh, Microsoft Copilot Studio in my education series here. So please make sure that you go check that out. Now, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into uh, Copilot Studio for just a second, just to make sure that you understand how it lays across the platform and allows you those extensibility uh, capabilities. So if we look across the platform of Copilots at Microsoft, you're going to see that we have the ability to do extensibility system Copilots, say the M365 Copilot or one of the Dynamics 365 Copilots, such as uh, Dynamics for customer service, or you also have uh, Copilot for service and all of those other opportunities. And know that what you're going to see is that Copilot Studio will be the authoring canvas that allows you to build the plugins to extend those Copilots, and it will be included as part of that. But also be aware that you can build your own custom Copilots. That was traditionally what you were familiar with, with like Power Virtual Agents in the past. But this functionality also is included in Microsoft Copilot Studio. So. I hope this has been helpful for you to understand the difference or the importance of a dialogue manager when building conversational applications. It's very common for people to not understand this and think that you can just build a conversational application using generative AI or a large language model by itself. And while that is technically possible for you to do it, now you understand the importance of having a dialogue manager because now you understand that that's what keeps you as the conversational uh, application author in control of the conversation and allow you to orchestrate that, that particular application's capabilities. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully this was super helpful for you. Um, as always, please like and subscribe. I have started a new playlist that is educational in it versus the how-to videos I typically do. So I hope this has been helpful. And as always, you can go to aka.ms slash try Copilot Studio and try this out for yourself and start building awesome new conversational Copilots.